how to dodge and burn in capture one for example this picture at the moment is looking flat okay but after adding bond to it it looks better so this is the before looking flat with this bond is looking better and then with this dodge it looks perfect now this looks good and exciting but if you take it back to what it was it, it, it looks flat okay and that's why you have to do dodge and burn on your images all right so this is how you dodge and burn in capture one okay when you have your image like this the first thing you want to do is go to your style brushes okay and under your style brushes you will find built-in style brushes um with these brushes you will find color enhancements light and contrast okay so under light and contrast if you click this arrow here you will see dodge and burn okay so dodge is bright br to brighten your image why to burn means to darken your image so this is the simple meaning of dodge and burn to dodge means to brighten your image to burn means to darken your image okay so let's start with the burn so you will select this the moment you select this um you will you will see the the brush okay appearing on the face of your model like this so your cursor changes to a brush okay and then you can right click and change the size of your brush to whatever will work for you okay and then move it away from the box so the box can disappear and then now you can start burning okay but before you dodge and before you burn there is a rule to it which you must understand okay so the places to burn the places to darken or the places to burn are the places that are already dark in your image okay and the places to dodge to brighten are the places that are already bright in your image let me draw an annotation around this so this part of the face is is already bright so you're supposed to dodge this part and not burn it okay so let's select the burn brush again okay and then let's start burning so these areas that are looking flat we want to add shadows to these areas okay okay and start burning okay we need shadows at this part of the face okay burn it and let it be very very dark do not be mindful of how dark it can get let it be very very dark And after burning, the next thing you want to do is to dodge. It means to brighten. Okay, so let's brighten this part of the face that is already bright. Okay. It's not looking good at the moment, but keep doing what you are doing. Okay. Now, lastly, the next thing you want to do is to feather your brush okay and did you notice that while brushing over the face and layers were created okay so the moment you start dodging the dodge layer um will be created automatically the moment you start burning your picture the burn layer will be created automatically okay so right click on the burn layer then click feather mask okay and then the moment you see this to feather um, 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 your, your, your brush, okay, your mask, which you have brushed over, then you can reduce the effect here. If 100 is too much for you, you can just reduce the effect to whatever works for you. Okay, I think this 100 works for me, so I'll leave it and apply. Then do the same thing to the dodge um, layer, feather the mask, okay, and apply. So next thing you want to do to your bone is to reduce the opacity because it's looking too much okay do something like this okay so okay so this is our before now this is our after okay 
so you can still continue to apply the brush so after you have done the um, after you have feathered um, the two masks you can still come back here to dodge again if you feel like oh I want I want more of it okay see you can still come back and do it And then you can still come back to feather again if there was a mistake in the first one you can reduce it okay and apply it so this is how you dodge and burn in capture one okay